Hello, welcome to Design Fusion. My name is Nero, and today I will show you how we can create a deformable part in NX. So, first of all, we will see what is deformable part, and second, how we can create a deformable part in NX. So, a part which can assume more than one shape when we add it in assembly that means when we add in add that component in assembly each and every time it has a different shape or it has similar shape so we can change a behavior or we can change a shape whenever we we add that part in assembly we also can call as uh, flexible component for example all of you know about spring and hose so which often has a different shape in a same assembly we all know about spring and its behavior so when we apply pressure on spring a length will be reduced because of compression using deformable part option in NX we can demonstrate a spring behavior in assembly for more understanding I, I have created example for this spring washer in this example I will show you how we can create a disk spring washer with deformable option and also I can show you how we can use a deformable part in assembly so let me show you an example so we can start uh, example for this spring washer so first we have to make a sketch for the spring so sketch plane okay so we have to make a shape or section for a spring Spring washer. We have rectangle. We have to make a constraint. So point and curve. This point. And this plane. So that washer has outer radius, inner radius. and height so this will be our outer radius will be our inner inner radius point one no point and this will be our deformable So we will see here our sketch is fully constrained so this is our section for a uh, spring washer to finish we have to revolve it automatically select the sketch choose a vector for devolving direct direction and we will see here okay and click okay and hide the sketch so this is our basic model for deformable component so for making deformable component or deformable part we have to go in menu 
tools and deformable part so we can name it for disk spring washer we have to select all the features in the tree and we have to define a deformable input for this washer we our length will be deformable is the height of the washer so click on the and we can create deform deformable height yes and click next or finish so after we create a deformable option we can see here feature for deformable component so this is how we can create a deformable component so here is an example so we have a top plate bottom plate and we have a series of uh, disk washer so let me show you in a section view so whenever the pressure is applied on top plate the plate is trying to move in a downward direction so whenever the plate is moving on downward the spring disc washer is trying to compress so let me show you so for now the distance between two plate is 5 inches so when we reduce the distance between two plate based on the new distance the disc spring washer is compressed so if we can move from 5 inches to 3.5 we can see here the the compression effect in a spring washer if we increase again to the 5 inches and we can see here the actual or original position for the spring washer so this is how we can use our deformable part in assembly and so if we just want a deformation on just in a one uh, washer click on deformation and we can apply a deformation value here suppose 0.25 to 0.5 then we can see here the changes in a in a washer so this is how we can use a deformable option in nx thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you